speaking of large, so they say fat shaming only works for women. But I've seen you online going <laughs> off on people about your weight. But nobody ever comes to men defense when they talk about fatness. You know, hey, I love my fans because sometimes it's very few times I'll say something. But majority of the time, my fans be in the comments. Defending like, you. They be on, they'll be on your ass. You say something about me, my fans will be on your ass. Well, like, I love yeah. him. Yo, one time, like, when there was a period of time, so you were skinny, man. Like, you were like, how do you get weight? Bro, life. Have, you, have mean. you found, you don't have a plat go by him? Uh, Yo, it's life. Cause I, and you know, the cra crazy thing is, I, I don't eat like people think I do. I just, when I do eat, I eat trash. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and I never portion control. Like, when I do eat, like, let's say if I don't eat all day and I do eat, like, I'll stuff my face that once in one sitting. Mm. So, I it's feel like... I work out, which is I don't want to Yeah. Mm. And then, and the thing is, I, I would work out, like, not regularly, but, like, a couple times a week, and I, I go out and play basketball at the parks. You know, I like going to LA Fitness or 24 Hour Fitness to play basketball. Um, you know, and I used to play football, and that's what messed me up. Football. Football. Because when you're playing football, bro. You have to put on weight. No, no. You, the football, like, you, 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 we're working out every day. It's during the summer, there's a period of time. But how did, um, why did you we, say that messed you up? That should be I, a good I'm, thing. No, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. There's a period of time where... You're working out every day. So you could eat 2,000 calories. You're going to burn 4,000, right. for example. Right. And you mind you, you're working out every day. And sometimes in the summer, when you, for summer football practice, we do two a days. Right. Work out twice in one day. Right. Early in the morning, and then we take a break. We go eat, and we come back at 2 p.m. So my metabolism was constantly going. I was always moving. But now when you graduate high school, now you got to get a job. So you kept you the same classes, eating habits. But same eating habits. But you didn't have the Not the same, same exercising got habits. True. Got true. So no, my journey has been like crazy. Now I understand my body. I understand what I have to do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Um, it's just work out regularly. Portion control. Right. No soda. Right. No juice. If I do, it has no to be sugar. once in a while. Yeah. Right. The sugar, like, I have to cut that off, eat, like, expeditiously. I'm d'accord. Because the app plays a huge role, you feel me? Right. And um, I was actually hospitalized because I got too big. My blood really? sugar was through the roof, bro. Oh, my God. Through the roof. When was that? I think it was around, mm, probably 2017. And because I looked at it, was like, we get it under control. Or else? Or I'm going to be diabetic. That kind of made me depressed because I'm like, nobody wants to be diabetic. You feel me? Right. So I had to change a lot of what I do. And um, it was hard because I couldn't stay consistent. You feel me? So I kept... Why couldn't you say... I don't understand, bro. Like, I, sometimes this, it baffles me because... See, doctor, I do. Okay. Super fessa, what movie? Yeah. Why don't you fessa? It's like, all right. But ain't no movie I'm going to do now, of Yeah, you're right. But I'm going I'm to be real with you. Sometimes when you're so used to doing something to get out of that habit, it's hard. And I've gotten out of the bad habits a lot. And I've been consistent, and I, I fall right back into it. So it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But it's like, the one word that I like to use, it's a journey. Okay. So, imagine no absolute power points for just like let's say au cap. Au cap. There you're going to find roadblocks. The, the some of the roads going to be bumpy, some of the roads going to be smooth. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to stop. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to um um like let's say, you know, if if you don't like driving all day, you're going to have to sleep somewhere one night. That's really the journey with, you know, weight loss and you know being healthy. But, um, like I said, like, in success, 
for me, I feel like to have to be successful in something, you have to have a journey towards it. Cause like like about like you know when I get to my 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 goal weight, my you know, and it's not really weight for me. My goal health, like just being healthy, wise, like mm -hmm. wise in general. I'm gonna write a book about it, like my whole journey, cause I feel like. A lot of I'm, I know I'm not the only one that goes through this. You feel me? Because right. yeah, it's because sometimes like let's say work work gets in the way. You know what I'm saying? School gets in the way. So it's like when you put you know so much time into that stuff, you don't like you kind of lose track of yourself. Right. And it happened. It happened to me a lot. You know, honestly. So